China's Taiwan Affairs Office has held a press conference to express its objection to get Terry Goh's views on cross-strait policy. The KMT presidential hopeful made a statement that there are, quote, two Chinas, namely the Republic of China and the People's Republic of China. The comments were an attempt to explain his earlier remarks that Taiwan is a part of China, but they appear to have stoked even more controversy. Beijing authorities do not take seriously the existence of the Republic of China, so I feel that they are the most helpful member of the DPP's campaign team. Days earlier, Go said that there were two Chinas because each side of the strait was free to have its own interpretation of China. His statement prompted dissent from Beijing. There is only one China in the world, and both the mainland and Taiwan belong to one China. China's sovereignty and territory brook no division. It is the common interest to advance national unity and to clearly define the nature of cross-strait relations as not state to state. It was strong language from China's Taiwan Affairs Office, but it was milder than the language it typically uses against President Tsai Ing-wen. It's clear that when it comes to the KMT candidates, China is hedging its bets, so it won't repudiate any of them outright. At the least, Chinese officials feel that, compared to the DPP candidates, the KMT's contenders are more to their liking. The Chinese official expressed support for digital media outlets that are under Taiwanese government scrutiny for spreading fake news. He said that these outlets should, quote, stand up straight when called out because good will ultimately prevail over evil. The National Security Bureau confirmed that this situation is in fact true. It said that all these false reports and content farms are working to undermine the prestige of the ROC government. If the Bureau's verification is believed, then the Taiwanese people would at least have some immunity to fake news. The DPP lawmaker spoke in favor of the National Security Bureau's media monitoring campaign. He said these intelligence efforts would help Taiwanese be better able to identify Chinese manipulation and rumor-mongering.